Hi everyone out there on the internet. Uh, I wanted to show you real quickly how to make spiky boots. I have a uh, one I already did here, and you can see I kind of got them okay. Uh, the hard part is spacing them out because obviously you're not following anything. Uh, you're just deciding on your own. But the the nice thing is that you only need two tools: a an awl and a stubby screwdriver. Well and the spikes. I got the spikes from Gothic Punk Specialty Hardware. Uh, these are the one and a half inch spikes. They're pretty dangerous looking. That's why I kind of got them. Uh, they come with countersunk screws, which is nice as well. Which I can't get out of the... there we go. Um, tiny little countersunk screw. That works really well on these uh, leather or faux leather boots. Um, reason being is they kind of push into the leather and doesn't hit your foot. Uh, so it is easy as you take your awl and you find where you want to start. Uh, I decided on these to start uh, right here. Uh, and you literally just line it up and ram it home. Now this takes a lot of strength. So it's not for the faint of heart. There we go. And if you see I'm going to push it in pretty much to the end of the shank, uh, pretty much the whole way. Uh, reason being is I want to make sure that the leather has enough room for when I put the screw in so that it doesn't close up around the, uh, the screw. So I will try to pull that out and then take your screw, reach into the boot, and let's see if I can do this. Yeah, you can see the hole there. And this first one's always the hardest. And in fact, I didn't push it in all the way. So if that doesn't work, Sometimes you have to take your awl again, put it inside of the boot, and then you push it out from the inside. Uh, this way, the leather, or pleather, uh, there you go, let's see that. Yeah, there we go. That way it kind of puckers on the outside, not on the inside. Okay, so we'll quickly pull this back in. Or not. <laughs> It, it, there we go. Okay, screw, <laughs> screw, and nice big hole now. Let's see if <laughs> this is a lot harder to do on camera. <laughs> and now you can see screw just barely poking out. So I'll pull my awl out of the boot and we'll replace it with my stubby and my spike. Spike will go on the outside, and hopefully there's enough thread that it can grab, and there isn't. So, this goes into the screw on the inside of the boot there. Technically. There. So you'll push up with the screwdriver, and put the spike on, and turn it just a little bit. And then, which you can see inside of the boot, which you probably can't. Nope. I'm just going to line up the screw driver on the bottom of this spike and turn it. You're not seeing anything because it's all happening on the inside of this boot, so sorry about that. But basically, you tighten and tighten and tighten. You can tighten that too, a little bit. But you'll see it kind of puckers up just a hint there. That's why, that's when you know that you've got the screw far enough in that you can't feel it on the inside so it won't, won't rubber against your foot. So there we are. We have a mono spike boot now. Um, if you want to keep going, which I do, since I got 10 of these, uh, basically you just need to figure out your spacing. So if you look at my boot over here, I well I didn't do a very good job of going straight up and down, but you can go straight up and down, you can do a, a, a grid of them, and then I went around to the side. The reason I only went one side is I don't want them rubbing against each other when you have two shoes next to each other like that. So, basically you'll just figure out where you want the next spike, jam it in, stick the screw on the inside, put the spike on it, tighten it up, and uh, yep, that's how you make spiky boots. Um, if you want to get these boots, uh, they are Radii Hampton Slims. I got them on Plunder for like 25 bucks. Um, they're not real leather, but that's okay. And uh, thank you. My name is Greg DiStefano, and uh, 
Have a good one.